Hello everyone, Scott Sugden from L Acoustics here today to show you how simple and easy system calibration can be with the P1 AVB processor in the integrated measurement platform M1 in every version of LA Network Manager 3.0. I'm set up here today at our office in California with the new medium throw line source array VA series. The array behind me starts with two KS21 and an A15 Focus with an A15 wide. The A15 Focus has its pan flex set to 70 degrees, and the A15 wide has its pan flex set to 110 degrees in the horizontal. To power this entire setup requires only one LA4X amplified controller. The four channel LA4X comes integrated with a Milan AVB audio network that provides audio and control with just a single cable. The audio today is coming from the P1 AVB processor with its integrated network switch connected to the LA4X amplified controller and my laptop running LA Network Manager 3.0. We can start in LA Network Manager by loading our design from SoundVision, or we can create a system from scratch with the connected units. LA Network Manager has several types of objects on the workspace, including amplified controllers like the LA4X. The large object on the workspace is the P1 AVB processor with its 20 inputs and 16 outputs. The P1 is both generating the measurement signal and capturing its return via the four microphone preamps in the front. The gray objects are groups. We use groups for anything we wish to gain, delay, EQ, mute, or solo, as well as anything else we wish to take a measurement of. Today I have a group for the A15, KS21, and for all. With the group programming complete, we can add the newest member of the LA Network Manager workspace, the measurement location. We use a measurement location to define any place we wish to take a measurement of our sound system. Each measurement location can be assigned to the group or groups we want to collect data on. In this case, the center location will measure the groups KS21 and A15. Additionally, we have defined a few more measurement locations so we may get a good spatial average to choose the best EQ. If you'd like to learn more about how many and where to put your microphone locations, Please read our AES paper on optimal measurement locations for large-scale loudspeaker system tuning using the link below. With setup complete, we can move on to the tuning page in LA Network Manager. To start the process of system calibration, we simply launch M1 from the sidebar. M1 contains an integrated workflow to help manage the process of system calibration. We start with the record tab to define the source for each of our groups and the preamp we'll use for each of our locations. Arming the targeted locations and M1 is ready to go. With one press of the record button, M1 will manage the data collection process automatically. In just a few seconds, we're ready to move the microphones to the next set of measurement locations. With all the data acquired, we can move on to step two in M1, the EQ tab. The matrix of measurements are organized by location and group. It is possible to display any individual measurement or an average across multiple locations. From multiple separate measurements, we can create a sum of several or all groups at any given location, and even an average of sums. Along the top of the M1 window, we have all associated groups, where we can see the applied gain, delay, and EQ to the associated measurement set. With M1, it is possible to modify any setting to see how to affect the response of the associated measurements, all without having to make any additional noise. Across the average of the eight locations, we can see a bump in the frequency response at 295 Hertz. Looking at the eight different locations, we can see that it is not isolated to just one measurement, but appears to be a common issue. To correct this variation in response, we can add an EQ filter to the A15 group. M1 introduces the newest member of the AutoSolver family, AutoLine, to help users time-align multiple sources faster and better than ever before. For each measurement location, M1 will present the possible groups to AutoLine. AutoLine proposes three options for the best alignment between any set of sources. Selecting any of the three options, M1 will update the delay and polarity of the selected groups with the summation updated for the displayed location. The quality bar at the bottom helps the user identify the best choice. This quality bar is also updated at all other locations that contain the same set of groups, helping the user choose the delay option that is not only good for one location, but great for all. With the calibration complete, we're ready to go live. 
With the integrated RTA and LA Network Manager 3.0, you can even track the system's response in real time. The complete integration of the M1 measurement platform within the control environment of LA Network Manager will help you simplify, accelerate, and improve the process of system calibration. LA Network Manager 3.0 with M1 will help you do the things you want, make great sounding shows from the very first note.